Living independently is important to Mary Powers and her husband of 63 years. We're still in our home and we have a garden. We travel a little and enjoy life. Like a lot of people in their 80s, Mary has high blood pressure. She works with her doctor to manage the blood pressure so she can be as healthy as possible for as long as possible. The most common reasons that people end up losing their independence are often complications of hypertension. Dr. Jeff Williamson from Wake Forest School of Medicine and co-authors released the latest results from the systolic blood pressure intervention trial, also known as the SPRINT trial. They enrolled more than 2,600 people 75 and older. All participants were living in their own home and could get back and forth to the doctor. They were randomly assigned to two groups. We wanted to test and see whether a systolic blood pressure target of less than 120 millimeters of mercury, that's the top number measured in the doctor's office, was more effective than 140 at reducing the risk of stroke, heart attack, heart failure, and death. In addition to recording those outcomes, researchers monitored blood pressure along with memory skills and the ability to walk a little more than 13 feet every three to four months. The trial was scheduled to run five years. After just over two years, the study was stopped by the National Institutes of Health because we found a strongly favorable result in those individuals assigned to a blood pressure treatment target of less than 120. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. A blood pressure target of 120 systolic is much more effective than a target of 140 in reducing the complications of high blood pressure. Even those individuals who were somewhat frail appeared to benefit from the lower blood pressure target. This should remove a great deal of confusion for patients and their physicians about what the blood pressure target should be for older people. Mary's blood pressure has been well controlled and she has just one word for how she feels these days. Great. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.